In this video, we are going to discuss about the phylum platyhelminthes. The platyhelminthes, it derives from the two words. The first one is plati, it prefers flat. Helminthes, it prefers words. They are the flat words. Means they are dorsoventrally flat. Such organisms are called as platyhelminthes. And even here, these platyhelminthes, the habitat and habitat. There are freshwater forms. There are freshwater forms. And some are marine forms. Some are freshwater forms and some are marine forms. And some are found in the moist soil. Some are found in the moist soil. And some are parasitic. Parasite means they live inside the host. That is called as parasite. They live inside the host and they absorb the nutrients from the host body. That is called as parasite. This is about the habitat habitat of the phylum platyhelminthes. Freshwater form and some are marine and some are found in the moist soil. And some are parasite. Next. The second characteristic, body organization. In case of platyhelminthes, organ grade of grade of organization is seen in platyhelminthes. Organ grade of organization means you know group of tissue together form as a organ. And the group of organ, okay, they together called an organ system, and that organ system perform particular function. That type of organ grade of organization is seen in the phylum platyhelminthes. Next, body wall. Body wall is these are triploblastic animals. These are triploblastic. Means the body is covered by three germinal layers. First one is outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. And that middle mesoderm is made up of mesenchyma cells. That is the third point. The next point is symmetry. They show bilateral symmetry. They show Bilateral symmetry means you know the organism can divide into two identical halves. Suppose this is the organism, suppose you cut through the center like this, it divides. The organism has two identical halves. That is called as bilateral symmetry. The platinum this they show bilateral symmetry. Next. And one more thing, the very important characteristic of pyrum platyhelminthes. The body wall, okay, the body wall of the platyhelminthes, it is covered by cuticle. The body wall of the platyhelminthes is covered by the cuticle. It is present in the parasitic Organisms. Parasitic organism. Inside the host. Inside the host, they need one extra covering. That is called a cuticle. Extra covering. Apart from the outer ectoderm, one more extra covering they have. Why? Because to protect themselves. These are present in the parasitic organisms of platyhelminthes. That is called as, one more layer is called as cuticle. Next, body cavity. Yes, these are acylomates. 
means body cavity is absent. There is no cavity between the body wall and the gut region. That's why they are called as ursigomates. Means body cavity is totally, completely absent. Okay, next. Digestive system. Digestive system, it is incomplete. Digestive system incomplete. You know incomplete. Only presence of mouth. It does not have anus. The what do you call? The intestine. The rest, the elementary canal, the last organ of the elementary canal is intestine. In intestine only it stops. There is no presence of anus. That's why the digestive system is called as incomplete. Okay. Next. Next system is circulatory system is completely absent. No circulatory system. Okay. Next. Respiratory system. Respiratory system. Respiratory system. Okay. It is also absent, but respiration takes place through simple diffusion. Respiration takes place through simple diffusion. Means you know, diffusion is nothing but the movement of molecules from moving from movement of molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration. Through simple diffusion, the respiration takes place. And in case of parasitic form, respiration takes place anaerobically. The absence of oxygen, where in case of parasites. Anaerobic respiration, absence of oxygen, the respiration takes place. You know the oxygen, why it required? Oxygen is to break down the food particle. The parasites already in the host body. Especially intestine. The host body already in the digestive food. The what you call ready-made food. That's why they don't need the oxygen. Okay? Next. After respiratory system, excretory system. The excretory, excretory system, it includes flame cells, a special object, cell called as flame cells, which are also called as solenocytes. They are also called as solenocytes or flame cells. These are the excretory organs of the phylum platyhelminthes. These are also called as protonephridia. These are also called as protonephridia. Solenocytes, flame cells of protonephridia. These are the excretory organs of the phylum platyhelminthes. The next characteristic nervous system. Nervous system. It includes pair of cerebral ganglia. Pair of cerebral pair of anterior cerebral ganglia. Nervous system it includes. The ganglia is nothing but collection of ganglia is nothing but collection of nerve cells. Collection of nerve cells. Pair of, it consists of pair of cerebral ganglia. Okay. The ganglia. Collection of cells. It exactly looks like this. Like this. And it is arrived from the longitudinal nerve. 
Uh, from the land of Hidden, my mm-hmm. property, which one? Pay off, cerebral, ganglia. This thing. Okay. And it looks like it is a ladder type. Ladder type of nervous system, if we in the platyhelmet is. After the nervous system, the next one is the reproductive system. Reproductive system. Yes, they are hormone products. They are hormone products means they are bisexual, having both male and female sex organs in the single individual. They are hormone products and fertilization is always uh, internal. Okay, fertilization is. Internal means fusion of male and female gamete takes place inside the body. And development is takes place both direct and indirect. Both direct and indirect development is seen. Means with larval form and without larval form. It takes place without larval form also and takes place with larval form. That is called as direct and indirect development. Okay, direct means without larval form, indirect means with larval form. And this is about the general characteristics or salient features of pylon platy helminthes. Next, the classification. Classification. Pilot platy helminthes is divided into three classes. It is going to three classes. The first class is Tardelene. The second one is Trimetroda. And the last class is Cystroda. These are the three classes of Pylum Platyhelminthes. The first, Turbellaria. They are almost aquatic and free living. They are aquatic and free living. For the example for the turbellaria is planaria. Example is planaria. Example for turbellaria. The second one is trematura. It includes ecto and endo para. I told parasite, they live inside the host organs. Ecto means they live outside the host organism. Endo means present inside the host organism. That is called an ecto and endo parasites. In the, pi, uh, the class Trematura, it includes both ecto and endo parasites. Best example is Fasciola hepatica. Fasciola hepatica. It is also called as liver flip. Especially it is present in the liver. Common name is liver flip. 
Thank you for me. Thank you for attacking. Come. This is the second class. That is Trinakula. And the final, third one is the Sistoda. The Sistoda it includes only endoparasites. Endoparasites. The organism which are present in the class Sistoda. They are endoparasites, means present in present inside the host organism, body of the host organism. Such parasites are called as endoparasites. The best example is paper, paper, or it is also called as penia solium. Okay found in the intestine and it causes the disease called as peniasis the penia solium of tapeworm because it looks like a tape that's why it's called as tapeworm ok this is about the pylon platin helminthes and in the next class we will discuss about the next pylon that is called as helminthes ok thank you